Welcome students. In this video, we will learn how to make Ferris wheel in Blender. Just come to Blender. Delete all the objects here. Add a cylinder. Click on add cylinder here and take vertices 16. Scale this. Okay, that's good. Now come to edit mode. Click on face. Select this face. Press E for extrude and then S for scale. And scale this in inner side. Repeat the same procedure with this face also. Select face. Press E for extrude and S for scale. And try to do the scaling, similar scaling. Scale this inner side. Okay. Now, press Control R for segments and increase the segment. Take two segments here and do the same step here also. Control R for segment and increase the segment. Two segments here. Now, come to object mode. Rotate this in 90 degree. Now, there is a problem that you can see that whatever we have done in the edit mode is not visible in object mode. Now, what we can do, come to modifier property, click on add modifier and select wireframe mode. Now this, you can see that whatever we have done on the edit mode is now visible here. Now, the main part of creating Ferris wheel is completed. Now, how we will perform animation in the Ferris wheel? Uh, to perform animation means how we will rotate this animation, how this, uh, how we will rotate this Ferris wheel, just like that. To do this, bring this here. Select a timeline from one to three hundred, and click on the first keyframe. Select your wheel, press I, click on rotation, press N, and Take this as zero. Now, again, click on I and just select rotation. Now, come to the last frame that is 300. Give value 1080. And click on I and select rotation. And now rotate this wheel. So this is how you can see that we have applied animation on our Ferris wheel. Why we have taken the rotation as 1080? Because you can take any value which is a multiple of 360, like 360, 720, and 1080, because it will rotate and complete its one cycle in 360 degree. So you can take any multiple of 360, like 360, 720, and 1080, and so on. Now, our main important part of animation is completed. Now, what we are going to do? We will make a rotating shaft here. For this, take another cylinder. Click here. and take this as 90 degree. Scale this to reduce the size. Add one more cylinder. Scale this also. Rotate this. Now fix it like this. Just select this cylinder, press Shift-V for duplicate, and in this in X direction. 
for the y direction. Select this. Uh, angle is minus 1.56. What we can do uh, to take this as plus 1.56. This also. Now fix it like this. Now this will work as a rotating shaft. Select all the uh, select both the cylinder. Press shift to D and send this in x, x direction also. Fix it here. Okay. Now the one important part is left that we have to make uh, a passenger car for the Ferris wheel. For this, take another cylinder. Come to edit mode. Select this face of cylinder and press E for extrude. Then select this faces. And delete all these faces to make a make opening for the passenger car. Now one more thing that we can do to add one more cylinder and uh, scale this quickly. Bring this here. Scale this a little bit more. Uh, to make an umbrella like structure at the top, take a spear, come to edit mode, click on wireframe and select this half part. After selecting this half part, just right click and delete faces. I think this one face has left, just click on this and delete face. Okay, now come to edit mode again, sorry object mode again and bring it over here. Change viewport. Okay, now what we can do to in uh, decrease some size of uh, this to reduce the height. Now what we can do, we can join all these things. Before joining, we can apply the color on each object separately. Just select this, click on the material property for applying color, click on new, and select a color from here. Change the viewport. Select this also, click on new. Select all the rotating shafts and apply color. Now give a color to this passenger car also. Now select all the parts of passenger car, press shift, press shift to select all these, right click and join all these. Now click on a scale and reduce the size. Now as we have completed the animation part, that what, you have to, uh, what we have to do just, uh, we have to fix this passenger car in that first wheel. Decrease the size. I 
and fix it here. We can decrease some more size also. I think this side is perfect. Now just we have to fix it here. Now, as we are playing animation, our wheel is moving, but our passenger uh, car is at the same place. How we will resolve this problem? Select this passenger car, then press shift and then this wheel and press control P to make this passenger car child of that wheel. We are making this wheel as parent and uh, this passenger car as child. Now, when we play animation, both will move along. Now, there is one more problem. As you can see that this passenger car is getting reversed. Uh, which is not the actual situation in the wheel. So what? Uh, how we will resolve this problem? Just click on the passenger car, come to object constraint properties, add object constraint and click on limit rotation and limit this in X direction. Now when we will play, so it will not reverse. Now what we have to do is to uh, fix this a little bit more. After fixing this, just press shift plus D and copy this passenger car and fix this in all direction. I'm arranging this quickly. Now we can run the animation. And as you can see that our passenger cars are moving along with Ferris wheel. This is how we have created our Ferris wheel. Thank you.